I'm Josiah Aysen, co-founder and CEO of iSpace. What does iSpace do? Um, interesting question. iSpace is a tech and creative hub. Um, so we work with startups and entrepreneurs, um, pretty much providing a, I would say, a conducive environment for startups to be able to scale the idea or even move from idea stage onto creating MVPs and hopefully get funding for their ideas that they have. So give me a, a, some examples of startups you've worked with. So right now we're working with um, a lot of startups. Um, so we have um, Flipify, we're just looking at big data for fintech. Um, they want to go into the whole AI side of things, which is interesting. And then we've got um, people like Tobremi, which again, is more like um, a shopping online. Um, so again, shopping and logistics. We've got people that are working on um, health. So Moja app, working on health. And then we've got other people that are working on agri-tech, so one acre farm. So we just kind of cut across the board. And then we've got one that works um, for recycling, um, Asase app, when they call them, so yeah. And do you have many investors in Accra for startups? Yes and no. I mean, not for the tech um, startups, but other fields you get to hear about investment that is happening. And I think it all boils down to the data that's not available for them to make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we're working on, on some of the projects that we work with other hubs at the moment, um, trying to map out where the startups are, what it is that they're doing, and then work with other agencies that are working with investors. So yeah, we have investors, but not as many as we would like in the tech industry. And what are your expansion plans over the next 18 months? So what we're doing, rather than expand as iSpace going into other, um, I would say, regions, we mm -hmm. got, we're working with um, most of the hubs, I think 10 hubs at the moment, um, on basically scaling one of our flagship programs, Unlocking Women in Technology, which is dedicated to um, creating as many women startups as possible. Um, so we're going to fund those hubs ourselves to then kind of um, execute those programs on our behalf across the region. So for us, it's just expanding with those programs across the region in the next 18 months.